Now let's take a look into Spring Boot MUC project architecture. So this is the standard architecture that we are going to follow to develop our Spring Boot application. And this is the three tier or a three layer architecture. It has a controller layer, service layer, a repository or a DAO layer. Okay, this is a widely used architecture uh, in you know project development. So basically controller layer holds all the Spring MUC controllers and service layer basically holds all the service classes it has a business logic and the repository or a DAO layer holds all the persistence or a database related logic and the repository or a DAO layer is responsible to talk with you know mysql database so this is the three layer architecture now let's come to spring muc architecture so look at here this is the muc architecture or you can say uh, muc design pattern we have a controller view and there is one more component called model so controller is basically responsible to process the request and it will you know return model and view to the browser to render the page okay so this is the you know muc muc design pattern we are going to use spring muc okay so controller layer basically process the request and it will get the data from the database by using service and repository layer and that uh, that model data basically you know bind to view and that that generates a web page that web page will be displayed in a browser it's pretty simple uh, spring MUC architecture 